That's a nice-looking walleye. Too bad it's illegal to take home. A regulation put into place last year at Glendo Reservoir requires all walleye less than 15 inches to be released back to the water immediately. But some anglers are getting sighted this summer because they haven't taken note of the regulation. Casper Region Fisheries biologist Nathan Cook says the regulation was put into place after anglers raised concerns about a lack of larger sized walleye in the reservoir. And based on what we're seeing here in our netting surveys, it appears that uh, that regulation is doing what it set out to do, and that is protect two year old walleyes. Uh, those fish um, will grow to be keepable size next year and should be. Um, should be a good year of fishing next year. In some instances, taking undersized walleye could very well be an honest mistake, the result of not measuring the fish properly. So when you measure your fish, you want to have the nose just touching the end, end of your board, and then you pinch the tail, and the lo longest part of the fish is um, what you'll be going off of. So this one looks like it's about 13 and 3 quarters. Uh, which would be an illegal fish here at Glendo. A good idea is to drop by a local sporting goods store and pick up a measuring standard like the one seen here, or at least have a good tape measure in the boat. And a lot of folks have a tendency to drape the tape measure over the body like this, which is an improper way to measure. Um, it can really affect your measurement, especially for uh, really uh, robust species like uh, largemouth bass. Um, so if you're using a tape measure, you just want to make sure you keep it straight and you kind of have to eyeball it the best you can. If it looks even close um, to whatever minimum length limit uh, the particular water you're on has, just go ahead and throw it back. There's no, no use risking. Game wardens recently issued three citations to anglers at Glendo who had fish under the 15-inch limit. The violations come with a $120 fine, and it's not a case of calling it good and rounding up if the fish is just under 15 inches. Since the fishing is usually pretty good at Glendo, don't assume that a 13 or 14 inch fish is as good as it's going to get. Give it a chance to grow and give you and other anglers a nicer payoff in the future. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.